Good morning everyone and uh, welcome to a very very I forgot how to drive off that is on park and I'm exaggerating but good morning everyone welcome back to a very 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 gloomy LA there is not even a slight sun in the sky and the uh, weather is very very cold I was on my morning walk this morning and I thought I would be fine like I don't know why I thought I was like it probably was just gloomy it's not that um, cold and I didn't wear my sweater I was freezing halfway I had to come back and wear my sweater my voice is still raspy I'm not sure why I'm probably really really tired I got back um, last night at like 7 p.m. so I came back home and had dinner catch up with my family and went to bed the timing worked perfect um, because like I just I was up pretty much the entire time I was on my way back home and at night I slept early like it was I think it was 10 I mean that's early for me um, I slept at 10 and I woke up at my usual time and so far I don't think I have jet lag uh, but we will see remaining of the day um, even though today I have a very busy day I'm not gonna be able to have like a jet lag kind of a vibe so to take you back my journey back from London to LA was a disaster showed up to the airport on Wednesday because that's when I was supposed to come back and the flight was cancelled because uh, one of the engines we were about to take off first of all it was delayed because the I don't know what is what is that called the gadget the thing that is attached to the um, airplane that you walk through it so that was stuck so yeah that was the first thing it made us um, late um, the boarding was delayed by like an hour and a half because that was stuck and after that we boarded we were on the plane and we weren't moving they said there's technical difficulty and they're trying to fix it then they said it's fixed we were on the runway about to take off um, that they stopped that like one of our engines is not working. I was like, that's the only essential thing to actually fly um, so we basically went back to The parking position they tried to fix it for like an hour and a half Didn't happen. We came back to the airport and they said wait until 6 p.m. Have this in mind. My flight was at 11 a.m. They said wait um in the airport by six o'clock we will announce if the flight is taking off or it's canceled so we waited until 6 p.m then they announced that the flight is canceled go home your luggage is stay with us we will let you know when your next flight is we will book you into uh, book you into the next available flight went back thank God, I had family there because a lot of people didn't know where to go. Hotels were all sold out or they were extremely expensive. You don't know when your next flight will be. They just said they'll give you about like four hours advance notice so you can make it to the airport. And um, yeah, it was a disaster. Thank God I had family. They came and picked me up, went, picked me up, went back home. And um, it was around midnight. They sent me an email that your flight is tomorrow morning at 9, 9 a.m. And it was a connecting flight. I was like, no, 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 I don't do connecting flights. That's one thing I don't do unless I'm going to Armenia. Um, so because the, the stance of it is pretty far. I was like, I am not doing a connecting flight. So I had to figure out a direct flight, which took me. Um, how long did it take me? Like two hours? but I got pretty much the last ticket on the next available um, direct flight and fast forward I'm a day and a half late but I made it back home which made me very 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 happy I was very worried that my luggages are not gonna make but they made it because I have a very busy weekend this weekend a uh, lot of events starting from tomorrow I mean technically tonight but I'm missing out on tonight's event because I really really can't I have a very busy day but I have a pool party tomorrow then dinner at night birthday on Sunday so it's pretty much what the hell happened I'm not sure what happened but anyway I'm, I have a very very busy day um, I went on my morning walk it was not long maybe like 30 minutes it's just my body couldn't handle it to be honest with you and I have a lot of things that I need to take care of today so I'm a little bit worried about my timing of things 
I am on my way to Target because I want to pick up a face wash that I ordered um, for pickup. Um, as you guys know, while I was in London, uh, my face got destroyed. I have so many breakouts, flying doesn't help, um, so I just bought a new cleanser that is specifically basically acne wash. So I'm going to pick that up, but I also needed a body wash. I ordered one more thing, I don't remember what it was, I think it was like three items. So um, I'm going to pick that up because I want to go back home, shower, scrub and all of that. Um, I ordered my favorite um, Korean scrubs, but they're not going to arrive until later sorry you guys moved really really badly um yeah i ordered my scrub um that literally gets rid of all your scenes um but it's not going to arrive until late this afternoon and i cannot wait um i need to shower i don't think i'm gonna wash my hair because tomorrow i'm going to a pool party and probably it's going to get wet um, so yeah, probably I'll wash it tomorrow after I actually when I went back to my cousin's house um, I washed my hair in that day and a half that I was there <laughs> um, I didn't have anything else to do. I washed my hair because my hair was a disaster um, So it's not like that dirty, but personally don't like airplane hair. That's fine tomorrow. We're going to a pool party so it will be source of that but i need to shower scrub and all of that and i want to try to do a at home um, laser if you guys remember sorry give me one second let me let them know that i am here if you guys remember i have this device that i got probably like two years ago if i'm not mistaken i have no idea if it works or not but um i mean i'm pretty sure it, it will work um work meaning in a sense of not the result work in a sense of like i have not used it in two years ever since i stopped uh, regularly fake tanning i have not done laser um so um yeah i want to start doing that again um hopefully so i need to scrub off my tan do my laser at home um shave and do laser at home and then tan again tonight which i don't know if i can tan right after doing laser i think i can afterwards and i don't think this ones are like the at home ones are as strong specifically on my chin area i need to start doing laser and my mustache area because the color is changing a lot i have this coloration on my upper lip which i do not like to be honest with you here is my order give me one second thank you so much thank you too let's see what was the other thing that i picked up body wash acne wash oh and deodorant so um i actually when we go home i'll show you guys my body wash because i don't think i've tried this one specifically and i came across a um ad and the result was absolutely phenomenal so i'm giving it a try since my entire hair and skin need extra help after traveling for like a month and not having like a regular beauty regimen i mean i try to keep up as much as i can but the water in um london never agrees with my body never ever agrees with my body i don't know what what it is but it never agrees anyway um what was i telling you guys yeah i was telling you guys about my day that what a busy day i have and on top of everything i have to do my laundry i have to unpack do my laundry wash my makeup brushes organize everything because that's one thing i like to do immediately after coming home um after vacation is to unpack to be honest with you guys i was gonna do it last night but um i was too tired i have to unbox all the pr packages that i received and yeah, basically today is going to be a jam-packed organization day. I knew this weekend is going to be pretty busy. That's why I scheduled to come back early so I can like take my time. Basically, I dedicated an entire day to only unpacking and like doing all my beauty regimen and all of that. Um, unfortunately, I cannot get my nails done until Monday, which is not good. I am in desperate need of a pedicure and I absolutely hate my... Uh, gel that I got done in London. I don't know if I talked to you guys about it, but yeah, they ruined my nail pretty much and It is what it is. I can't go back, but it is like lifting from the top 
it just doesn't look good it's grown out and all of that but I didn't make the appointment I had an appointment but obviously I didn't make it the day that I was arriving because I was arriving at noon in the afternoon I had an appointment to go get my nails done but obviously I didn't make it and they don't have any available appointment until Monday which is not ideal but it is what it is obviously i'm so thankful and grateful that we didn't find out that the engine is not working while we were in the air obviously extremely grateful for that but at the same time now i have a lot of catching up to do on top of all of that i have a lot of emails that i need to get to a lot of work bits and all of that a lot of editing i have to edit my monday's vlog which is going to be the amsterdam vlog these are everything that i picked up from target this is the cleanser that i was telling you guys um currently i'm using cerave cleanser and i absolutely love it so i just got the same brand um just like got the acne one um i thought it's a lot smaller but it is a pretty big size i don't think i'm gonna go I mean, you never know. I honestly don't know when my skin will go back to normal. But I don't think I'm going to use this twice a day. Probably once a day because I have rosacea and I don't want to irritate my skin. And then this is the Olay body wash. I saw on Instagram. Um, was it Instagram or on TikTok? A before after. And yeah, my skin needs it desperately. I think I used this before. I honestly don't remember maybe I didn't or maybe I did but anyway I got this body wash and obviously I was about to drop it and obviously I do drown because I finished mine while I was away this weather is not weathering it is the most depressing weather ever but let's get unpacking this luggages will probably take me a very 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 long time I have a few items that are new in my wardrobe and I've never washed them before. Make sure you read the label so you don't put items in your um, laundry that cannot be a machine wash basically because I made that mistake before and it backfired really really badly. One of my favorite pieces got ruined. Um, so yeah, currently I am going to go through all of the items that are new in my wardrobe and see if I can put them in the laundry. If not, then I'll make a separate pile of dry cleaning basically. few hours ever since i saw you guys last obviously i'm looking a lot more <laughs> glamorous i mean not too much but a lot more glamorous compared to how i was looking this morning i have just a little bit of makeup on because i'm heading out to dinner and i just want to show you guys my outfit and i also i wanted to mention there's nothing more joyful than um being back from vacation and having access to all of your clothes all of your makeup all of your skincare all of your perfumes and all of your belongings basically um, when i was getting dressed i was like so confused because i had so many options but i wanted to go with something very casual because we were going to grab something basically like a early dinner kind of a vibe and uh, i didn't want to put a very heavy layer of makeup so i did just a little bit of a makeup um, to cover up my beautiful spots as much as i can not fully but as much as i can and also 
to not look too tired. Um, so here is my outfit. I am wearing my earrings from Amazon. This top is from Express. It's super cute. It has like novelty buttons on it. Um, my pants are actually from Express as well. This bag is from Amazon and my Steve Madden flats. Why am I out of breath? I have no idea and I didn't do anything to my hair. I basically just brushed it. Couldn't be bothered but yeah oh i forgot to tell you guys i put away all of my laundry as well it has been a very 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 busy um afternoon and i am very hungry and i'm looking uh, forward to eating and drinking good morning everyone it is a beautiful beautiful sunny day and we all know how much i absolutely love this um the day that i got back to la it was miserable literally miserable it was the cloudiest day ever it was the weather was humid hot during the day really cold in the morning really cold at night it just was a very confusing kind of a vibe but today the sun is out and that makes my soul very 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 happy I think I last um, spoke to you guys on a day that I was unpacking, which was, when was that? Last week? On Friday, if I'm not mistaken. Then Saturday, I went to a pool party. I didn't vlog that day, but I did um, do a get ready with me on TikTok and Instagram. Um, and then at night, Saturday night, went out to celebrate one of my friends. Uh, and then Sunday I had my cousin's um, kids birthday which was so much fun I've never had that much fun at a kid's birthday uh, my cousin always throws the best parties she always thinks of everything uh, like entertainment as far as uh, adult and kids goes and she did it in this very very clean ranch um, which was filled with animals i saw the most beautiful gold horse but at the same time it was a very bougie ranch it didn't smell like a ranch it didn't look like a ranch it was absolutely stunning um and she hired bartenders and she had like cotton candy um stand anyway it was absolutely amazing i had a blast and sunday afternoon when i got back home i literally crashed i slept for 12 hours and it was phenomenal it was the best decision that i ever made because ever since i got back i didn't have any moment to myself i didn't even have time to sleep pretty much and yesterday which was monday i went and got my nails done which another thing that sparks joy i went with this baby pink color my toes was in a desperate need i'm not gonna show you guys because no one need to see that on the internet uh but yeah my toes were in a desperate need of a pedicure i got the same color on my toes as well just went with the baby pink theme because this weekend i have again another full weekend of events and the dress that i have in mind that i don't know if it's gonna work out or not because i just ordered it um it's like floral and i was just thinking of wearing something um summery so i just went with this baby pink one after my nail appointment i had lots of uh, catching up to do i had to go to the post office like running errand things and stuff and also a lot of work bits which i have done and this morning i went on my morning walk i am not back on my pilates classes yet because the place that i used to go has a very weird schedule and i forced into going because that was the time that they had um, but i'm looking into going somewhere else that has more flexible hours so i have not yet started my pilates uh, i'll let you guys know when i started but i went on my morning walk and i did a very very small mini weight training when i got back honestly my body couldn't handle it but i know i have to force myself to do it um, so my body can start getting used to it again basically um but yeah i did my workout and then finally washed my hair i postponed it as much as i can i've been rocking ponytails like buns and all of that uh but yeah it was time to wash which was absolutely amazing i cannot tell you how good it feels to be in your own bathroom with your own product and all of that and i'm so excited to use my dyson again you have no idea how excited i am about that today is going to be another busy day uh, i am back to filming and all of that so i have to record a reel and i also want to show you guys the pr packages that i received while i was away i already unboxed all of them because it's just the 
cardboards and like the packages were on my last nerve so i already unboxed everything but i'm gonna go through and show you guys what are the items that i received one of the items is actually an item that i'm using currently uh, but um as we can see my skin is not skinning and i have a lot of breaks out my rosacea is activated and i have hormonal situations happening um so i was doing my research on rosacea um topical creams and came across this one i obviously have my prescription lotions but i ran out of it and i have to make an appointment um to go they're just not gonna refill that one i have to go in but until then i saw that this one had a lot of good reviews um target has it but i got it from amazon this is basically for redness and irritation of rosacea and obviously i don't know if it's gonna work or not but i'm going to give it a try oh by the way um the acne um cerave acne uh wash that i got that irritated my skin so badly so 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 badly like my face went tomato red then blue then purple it was bad so i'm not gonna use that that was just too much for my skin um so yeah i'm just gonna go back to using my regular serum web one which i trust and i absolutely love and i know it works great um so i read the description description i read the direction of this it just says apply start with applying once a day and then you can um increase it to three times a day uh, which probably i'm not going to do that probably i'm just gonna use it like max two times a day but it says this can uh cause a little bit of dryness so that's why they say um just start with once a day massage gently until absorb into the skin uh how much am i supposed to use it doesn't say cover the entire affected area with a thin layer okay let's see how much is a thin layer it's like a gel formula so i'm really really i have rosacea all over my face by the way if you didn't know um but yeah um i am just gonna give this a try and see if it's going to help my rosacea until i um see my dermatologist and obviously the medication that i'm getting prescribed are so much more expensive this was below ten dollar even though it's very teeny tiny but this was i think like nine bucks um so we'll give that a try and see how is that going to affect my skin um the product that i um received in a pr and i started using is this one from polish choice it's called youth extending daily hydrating fluid this is with antioxidants and suits soothing plant extract which obviously my rosacea needs that and it is spf 50 it says for normal to oily combination when i got my facial in um sorry this is my alarm when i got my facial done um at lms's spa when they did a scan my this area was extremely oily and textured um so this one is for normal to oily combination so i'm just thinking of using this as my morning moisturizer um my CeraVe one that i absolutely love and use this is for normal to dry skin so it's exactly opposite of this i mean this one says normal oily combination this one says normal dry skin so both can be used for normal skin which my skin is far from normal but just because this one has spf and it has soothing plant extract i just thought i will start using this as my morning moisturizer obviously we'll see how this goes um so i apply a little bit of this all over my face i used it i think yesterday and the day before and so far it has been really really nice on my skin and i did um do a makeup layer on top of it as well and makeup products sit really nicely on it as well i'm just gonna give this a try for my daytime moisturizer and see how i'm getting along and obviously this one as well i'll keep you guys posted but basically i have a new morning skincare routine after i get ready i'll show you guys um all the pr products that i received because there are some cool products in there that i for sure want to show you guys and then we'll get on with the very busy day of filming and work pretty much 
I cannot tell you how much I've missed my Dyson Airwrap. I know I'm being very, very dramatic and uh, extra, but oh my god, my hair feels absolutely amazing. It is in a desperate need of a haircut, but if I need to cut it, I have to go really, really short. Pretty much, I have to lose all of the length. All of this needs to go. I don't think I am in a mental capacity that I can do that. I'm actually thinking, thinking, this is not a for sure thing, of going back to extension life for just a little bit. Just a little bit, not permanently, obviously. But yeah, here is the hair done. I'm not gonna brush it or anything because it will fall on its own by end of the day. I ran out of my K18, which is very, very, very sad. Luckily, my sister is an esthetician and she gets a discount on it. So <laughs> I need to um, get myself um, a new K18. I'm actually thinking of giving a try um, to their oil. I've heard great things about it. I'm going to keep touching my hair now. Um, I used a little bit of purple shampoo because I felt like my hair is going a little bit um, brassy. But this is the thing I don't like about purple shampoo, that it makes my hair gray. And it doesn't brighten it, it makes it gray. And I just don't like that, to be honest with you. But anyway, uh, I was what I was saying was, oh, I want to give the K18 oil a try because I've heard great things about it. So maybe in the future but for the time being i want to show you guys all the items that i received while i was away let me show you guys the most exciting and the prettiest pr package this is from way they did a collaboration with dead cool and came out with a laundry detergent how cute is this i literally died over how cute this is um so you open it like this and i mean i don't think yeah, it doesn't come with this. It's just a PR package of it. And here is the laundry detergent that is very, very cute. It has like a um, lot of cute writings on it. It's very way, way has a way of, how interesting was that? Way has a way of uh, designing things that is very unique to way. Um, so Melrose Place is one of my favorite scents from way. So basically this detergent is with the scent Melrose Place. Um, on my next wash, I will for sure use this and to be honest with you, I want to keep this Box as well because this is so cool and I feel like in a laundry room in the future laundry room This will be a cute display. I don't know. I kind of really like it. I mean it has the uh, Logo here, which honestly I don't mind. I can put sticker on top of it. They sent a bunch of stickers with it I can use um, the sticker on top of it but yeah that's one of the very very cool PR packages um, that I received um, then let me show you guys where is it the Paula's Choice one there we go so Paula's Choice uh, in addition to the moisturizer that I showed you guys they sent this healthy glow invisible sunscreen oil with SPF I have never ever heard of a facial oil that has SPF in it um, the packaging is absolutely beautiful it's like iridescent I don't know if the camera is picking up on it the focus of this camera is driving me absolutely insane um, but yeah it has like an iridescent packaging but it's so cool let's see oh this is how you open it my hands are oily because I just applied oil how do you open this okay my hands are really really oily and slippery i can't open it um but yeah excited to give this a try the fact that it is oil but it has spf 30 in it that's very very interesting they also sent this hat um, which says team spf and in the back polish choice um i love wearing hat during my morning um walk so that is from polish choice then we have um lms how beautiful is this makeup bag look at the pearl it's so 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 beautiful this is basically um the bridgerton um queen charlotte at a bridgerton story collaboration with lms i guess and inside 
uh, we have all of my favorite rose products in minis the rose balm the rose marine cream which i think this is a new launch a few months ago i think i showed you guys the uh, rose version of the marine cream that they just recently launched and my absolute favorite facial oil the lms uh, rose oil which i absolutely love 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 that's the only facial oil that pretty much does not break me out and also they sent a pearl um hair clip which is very very cute this makeup bag the color the pearl detail the gold detail just absolutely love it if this was in beige that would be me as a makeup bag pretty much then we have a couple of things from pixie um the clarity blemish um sticks which i think i actually need to give it a try because i have one here so probably i'm gonna pop one of these on at night and um we will see how it will act until morning it has 25 patches and um this is really good that um you can target you don't have to apply it all over your face i can't apply any kind of acne product all over my face obviously because i have very sensitive skin so this is actually fantastic i've been seeing um these things all over tiktok but i've never tried it because luckily i've always had great skin recently but unfortunately it is not the case currently but um yeah i'm actually gonna give this a try tonight and they also sent their clarity mist which is for basically breakouts um that's interesting but i don't think i'm gonna give this a try because again i can't apply any kind of acne product all over my face i have to use product like this um stickers or like the spot treatments because those just work better with my skin uh, then Dermalogica sent their microfoliant, which is one of my absolute favorite um, exfoliators. While I was getting my facial done at LMS, they told me I actually need to start, um, what do you call it, um, using exfoliating products on my face. Um, this is one of the ones that I absolutely love and usually does not break me out. But ever since I've seen my dermatologist, she told me to stay away from them for a while because my skin barrier is very damaged. But I feel like now... I'm at the place that I can slowly introduce this back into my um, skincare routine. So probably I'll start using this once or twice a week max. I'm going to start with once and then maybe increase it if I see my skin is not reacting. Um, then we have a very exciting package from Summer Fridays. Um, these are all of their uh, I believe cheek and lip balms and they have a new shade Unfortunately, I have never tried any of them. These are the old colors, uh, which is pink skies warm um, Desert and heat wave um, But unfortunately, I've never tried any of them. This is their new color called dusty rose Which probably will be my favorite because I personally like 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 how many likes can i use in one sentence um probably this does dusty rose one will be um, my favorite one because i personally um like pinky undertone blushes nowadays um i don't know if i mentioned this or not but um i was attending a, a makeup class um a few years ago and they said the color of your blush should be the color that you naturally blush and i always went against that i have always used um orange undertone blushes which obviously is not the case with my skin my face does not blush naturally towards like orange um i mean most people um blush um in a color red pink um so i don't know why i was using um orange uh blush uh, but ever since i uh, went to that um makeup class i mean i didn't went i attended it online um i started using um pink blush and i feel like it's a little bit more complementary to my makeup um are they people that actually blush orange i don't know i have friends who never ever blush like their skin color never ever changes and i'm honestly jealous to be honest with you um then i have a package from bandai sand which is a tan that i don't think i have ever tried so they came out with a new technology it is called techno color if i'm not mistaken yeah i believe it's called techno color 
Um, so what you do is you take a survey online and basically the survey at the end of the survey tells you Which one of these tans is going to be your ideal tan? They sent me all of it, but I did take the um, Test online and mine was this one the green one um, It says for a deep olive tone um, tan uh, based off of the answers um, that I gave this was um, the one that was recommended but they have one for um, a warm golden tone and this one is for a natural cool tone and this one is for a rich deep tone so I would say like these two would be my ideal one even though I do like a gold one uh, but I personally don't like the cool tone one I think this would be for people who have a lot of pink in their skin I do have a lot of pink in my face but I do not have that much pink on my body uh, but yeah probably these three will be the ones that um, I personally would like but the green one was the one that um, the machine suggested um, and they also sent me the meat so uh, probably next week I'll give this one a try just to see um, how is this one different from my central pay one um, then the last PR package that is still in the PR package is this LMS um, a pro collagen um vitamins i'm not sure what are they called they are anti-aging skincare supplement that's what they're called supplement um so they kindly sent me is this the same thing yes it says pro collagen skin future supplement 100 percent of subjects show a visual improvement in fine lines and wrinkles after eight weeks 100% of subjects showed a measured improvement in skin firmness and elasticity after four weeks that's great and then it says 100% of subjects shown a measured improvement in skin brightness after four weeks these are all things that I am actually looking for so I'll be giving this a try and I will report back I think I'm gonna start from tomorrow because I personally like to take my supplement in the morning I will let you guys know how this goes but knowing LMS I'm sure these products are going to be fabulous I'm ready to start recording my reels I am going to be starting styling this Banana Republic linen shorts five different ways. They're a little bit big on me and they sit a little bit baggy, but that's totally fine. I didn't have anything dressy. I do have my shorts from H&M, but they're not as dressy as I want them to be. Um, these are not shorts. These are pretty much like Bermuda, which is my favorite um, kind of a short because I personally don't like a short short. So I'll be styling this five different ways. I'm gonna do my best to do dressy and casual. Um, this first one is basically a casual one paired it with my Zara jacket, um, H&M top, Ralph Lauren belt, Amazon bag, Ralph Lauren flats. And I also have my gold earrings. Here is the first look. I'm gonna link all of this for you guys in the description box below. Here is the second way that I styled the shorts and to be honest with you, I think this is going to be one of my favorites. So paired it with my favorite H&M stripe um, crop top, YSL bag, YSL um, belt, the same shorts obviously and the H&M black and white flats and this is a vibe. I absolutely love this look. Here is the next look. I paired the shorts with this H&M um tank top and then cashmere beige color sweater chloe bag and um these are my amazon um what do you call it heels that are chanel dupe and if you guys remember before i leave for london i mentioned that i'm going to wash them and i did and i ruined them so they used to be beige and for an odd reason they are dark brown now i have no idea what happened but I think it works perfectly um, with this outfit, the beige of the sweater, which looks a little bit gray on camera, but it is like a true beige, um, works perfectly fine with the heels. You can also wear this with flats, that would be a very cute look too. Let me show you guys this outfit with flats as well. Here are the flats, they are from Steve Madden and they are Chanel dupe pretty much and I absolutely love them, they're so comfortable and... Um, I might have ordered two new shoes from Steve Madden that I cannot wait to show it to you guys. They're so adorable and cute. Uh, but anyway, I think I prefer the casual version of this outfit a lot more. You can even pair it with white sandals and that would be a very cute look as well. Here is the next outfit. I paired it with my um, 
blue and white H&M linen shirt which is very 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 difficult to iron but I absolutely love it um, Amazon bag and I'm wearing my Steve Madden sandals to be honest with you this could be very cute with flats as well like the black and white flats or even a beige one a beige um, flats that would be a very classy and chic look as well if you're going somewhere that you want to be a little bit more chic and sophisticated a beige flat would look very very cute but i just wanted to do something a little bit more relaxed and comfortable that's why i paired it with sandals but yeah absolutely love this look as well this is the last look and i must say i think this is one of my favorite ones so i paired it with this h&m top that has like this v in the front this is one of my absolute favorite black tops that i've ever owned h&m blazer chanel belt amazon bag and i am wearing my valentino heels i have not worn these heels in like literally a minute i think ever since last year and i honestly don't know why because i absolutely love them they go with everything and yeah i'm actually excited that that i rediscovered them so probably you'll be see a lot more of them i am potentially going out to dinner tonight and i think i'm going to be wearing this because it is such a chic and um classy look i absolutely love the mix of black and white with gold good morning everyone i am sat down editing this video and i just realized that i have not yet closed it so i just want to say thank you so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it was a little bit all over the place because this is my first week basically back and i'm trying to catch up with work getting back to my regular routine catching up with family friends just catching up with life so I know it was a little bit all over the place and I had a very very busy few days. I'm going to have a very very busy and not complicated but a little bit chaotic few days, all good things. So pretty much I was playing catch up as I was recording for this video. So. I apologize if it is all over the place with that being said i'm going to love you and leave you i really hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and i'll see you guys in my next video bye